Okay, so for this problem, there's a healthy couple, and they have two children. One is a 20-year-old daughter, and she's healthy, and she's married to a healthy 24-year-old male. The other child is an 11-year-old son with cystic fibrosis. Both the wife and the husband, this couple, the wife and the husband, are Jewish and of Eastern descent, so they have so mutations in this population for cystic fibrosis are increased, and the carrier frequency is known to be one out of twenty-five. So the questions for this problem are: draw a degree, uh, or draw a pedigree. What is the probability that the twenty-year-old daughter is a carrier of cystic fibrosis? What is the risk of the couple having a fetus having cystic fibrosis? And what is the probability that the daughter and the husband? Uh, will have a child with cystic fibrosis. So try this out, and then I'll explain the answer. Okay, so first, draw a pedigree, right? So what do we know, first of all? So we know that the couple are healthy, right? So that means that they do not have cystic fibrosis. But they did have a kid that had cystic fibrosis, and since we know it's a recessive allele, right, that means that um, that since cystic fibrosis is autosomal recessive, that means that both of the parents have to be a carrier. They both have to be carriers. So we have the carrier for each of these, right? So that's why we have the dots in the middle. And so circles are represented for girls, squares are for guys. And so we have the three children, right? The unknown child. So we have the child with cystic fibrosis. That's why it's colored in. And so we know his phenotype because, and genotype because the genotype will be uh, two recessive alleles. Um, we don't know the uh, genotype of the daughter, and we don't know the genotype of the offspring that's about to be born. So, okay, so the next question, so that's our pedigree, right? So the next one is what is the probability that the 20-year-old daughter is a carrier for cystic fibrosis? So this seems like a really straightforward problem, but there's a slight twist. So you think that you just need a Punnett square, and you're right, you, you just need a Punnett square to f solve this question, but Punnett squares are usually used for offspring, right? They haven't been born yet, but because this daughter is alive and well and is 20 years, 20 years old, it actually gives us a clue, right? She's healthy, so that means she doesn't have cystic fibrosis. So when we do the Punnett square, right, for the dad and the mom, uh, right, the dad and the mom, we have our four uh, Punnett squares filled out. However, since she's already born and the clue is that she's healthy, she can't have cystic fibrosis. That means the probability that she's a carrier is actually two out of three, right, instead of two out of four because we eliminated that option because the circle's not colored in, right? So the answer to that is two-thirds um, for the chance that the daughter could be a carrier of cystic fibrosis. So the next question is, what is the risk of the couple having a fetus with, with uh, cystic fibrosis? Um, so this is the couple we're talking about, right? Not this one, this one, right? So this is the couple... What is the risk of the couple having a fetus having cystic fibrosis? So once again, this one is a straightforward Punnett square, right? Because the, the child has not been born yet. And so therefore, it's just the genotypes of the mom and dad. And then you're going to have your four Punnett squares filled out. In this case, we don't know, right? Because the child hasn't been born yet. We don't know if the child's healthy or not. So therefore, it's just going to be one out of four. Because to know um, the chance of the child having uh, cystic fibrosis. And so that, over here, for this, it would be one out of four. Okay, so finally, the qu last question is, what is the probability that the daughter and the husband, this one, right, daughter and her husband, will have a child with cystic fibrosis? So we're asking about this question. So this is a multi-step problem, right? So first, we have to kind of reverse engineer it. So what do we want? Well... Uh, what are we what are we trying to find right we're trying to find the probability of a child with cystic fibrosis so for that we need the child to have two recessive alleles so how would we get those recessive alleles from the parents right so that means that each parent would have to give a recessive allele so that means that they would have to be carriers in the first place right um, so that means first we have to find out the probability of the mom right 
being a carrier. So we found out from the last problem that the or the two problems ago that the mom has a two out of three chance of being a carrier, right? Over here, we don't actually know the genotype of the dad, right? And we don't have the dad's parents, so we can't um, do a pun and square for that. So instead, we have to go back to the question stem and see that um, they actually gave us the information that carrier frequency is 1 out of 25. So over here, right, we have 1 over 25 um, is the carrier frequency. And so the chance that the dad is a... Um, carrier is 1 out of 25. But we're not done, right? We can't just multiply these and be done because so this is just the probability that they're carriers, but the probability of them giving a, a recessive allele is actually 1 half because they technically could give a dominant allele. So there's a 1 half probability that the mom will give a um, recessive allele and 1 half probability that the dad will give a recessive allele. And so this is going to be the multiplication rule instead of the addition rule because multiplication rule is used when the two events can happen, can happen simultaneously, right? Because the mom can be a carrier and give half, right, give the recessive allele at the same time. And so therefore we can use the um, multiplication rule. So it's going to be two, time, 2 over 3 times 1 over 25 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, right? So all these multiplied together is equal to 1 over 150. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.